Hey guys, it's Rhett from the 100 Acre Wood Highlands. You guys know we make a lot of videos about our Highland cows, but we also raise a few chickens. When I was in school, I showed chickens competitively in 4-H, and now we raise a few hens for eggs for our own family. The last several years, we have been using a dog kennel that has been attached to a 75-year-old dairy barn for our chicken coop. Uh, but this company, Ava Tuven, has graciously sent us a mobile chicken tractor that I think will be a great option for people who are just wanting to raise a few hens for their own backyard, for their own personal use. Today we're going to do a little unboxing, assembly, and maybe go through some of the pros and cons of this mobile chicken tractor. Let's check it out. So this company, Ava Tuven, makes a variety of different pet hutches and animal hutches for chickens, rabbits, cats, other animals, and even some raised garden bed type products. And one of the things I liked about it was once we had selected the product that we were going to build, it shipped from one of eight different warehouses here in the United States. And it, the product arrived uh, within about four or five days. And so it was really quick for it to come straight to our door here. Uh, we also picked this particular model, the Air 27, because it is possible to attach a longer run to it in the future so it could handle a few more chickens. So I'm really thankful for this company sending us this mobile chicken tractor. I'm hoping that it's going to be a really good solution for us to have just a few chickens here in our backyard. We're going to go ahead and get it unboxed, get it assembled, and then we'll come back and uh, kind of go over the end product. Okay, well construction of this chicken tractor is complete. Uh, it wasn't too bad to construct this. It took me right about an hour. You guys saw it came in two boxes. It, it had a good instruction manual. All the hardware was individually packaged and each individual panel was labeled so you knew exactly which piece you were looking for. So, you know, line part A up with part B. It was easy to figure out which panels you're working with. A lot of these panels had dowel rods that had pre-drilled holes so that you could line up easily the pieces. Uh, most of the screw holes were pre-drilled. There was a few that were not, uh, but most of them were in there. And it, like I said, it took us about an hour. So fairly easy construction. I like the look of this. I like the colors of this coupe. It's a uh, fir wood material. It's coated with an eco-friendly uh, coating that's totally 100% safe for your animals that are gonna live in here. And overall, I, I like my first impressions of this little chicken tractor. There's a few things uh, that I, I kind of wonder about. Uh, maybe maybe some, uh, some things that I would maybe improve on. And so I'm going to kind of go around and show all the different openings on this little coop here and, and talk about the few kind of concerns that I've got. So there's many, many doors here on this coop. And they've kind of got these spring-loaded little latches that you can squeeze open and allow you to get inside. Uh, this area is where the chickens will come up and roost. It's got a couple of roosting uh, bars or posts here and this whole tray slides out and this makes, you know, hopefully for easy cleaning in this coop, you know, put your, your wood shavings or whatever you're going to use down in here and, and that way it'll be able to get cleaned out easily. You got some nesting boxes over there that you can remove that divider or you can leave the divider in there. Um, it's got access to the lots of different areas really to the run part you've got a, a bottom part here you've got a large opening on this side this whole top area can be unlatched and folded back this would be it looks like to me how i would probably access the run to put water in here and food in here and that's one of my kind of criticisms or maybe concerns but i'll come back to that you've got you know these nice asphalt type Roofings, you've kind of got like some water guard that way if it rains, it's not going to get down in the cracks there. It's going to run off the edge of your roof here. You've got a latch that works here on the back where you can access the nesting box. So that's pretty nice. Here's the, the casters with the wheels on the back. I like the chicken tractor idea. This tire is really small for using in grass. So this is fairly short mode sod here. And I'll kind of talk about moving uh, it around here in a moment but i like the construction of it it's got some vents on one side that you can open slide back and forth it's got this neat handle 
right here. So from the outside of the coop, you can pull this handle back and let the chickens out for the day. And then if you're concerned about predators or things at night, once they go back up, close it up for the night. They've got a nice ramp that they can access. That ramp has got a little metal bracket that holds it up above the ground. That way when you're moving this, you're not gonna be digging this into the ground and breaking that off. And so I like the wire mesh. I think that's a good size. You're not really gonna get like snakes or anything in there. It's all stapled in from the inside. Um, there's nothing on the bottom, obviously. And so if you had like a uh, uneven surface or anything, you might have to worry about small little uh, predator type things, snakes and stuff getting underneath it. Um, but overall, it's a pretty cool little chicken coop. So for a couple of my hopefully small concerns on this coop, uh, the first is that I really wish there was a vent on each side of this coop. Here where we are in Oklahoma, uh, we tend to deal with heat more than we deal with cold. And especially this summer, we've had like 20 plus days at 100 degrees. And so uh, my chickens have had a fairly large coop where, you know, they've got plenty of like airflow and stuff like that. And so a little bit concerned about how hot it might be getting inside of here during the days when we're having these days that we had a day a few, uh, about a month ago where it hit 108. So one thing I might do to kind of mitigate that concern is I might try using this without this removable cleaning tray. Um, you know, if I'm gonna be moving it around every day anyways, then if the chickens are able to roost right up here to sleep, if they're able to get into those boxes to lay the eggs, if they poop and it falls down on the grass, perfect. Don't have to clean it out. It's a little bit more airflow in there, hopefully. And my thought is that that will keep it a little bit cooler. Then in the winter time, if we want this boxed up a little bit tighter to where they've got a little bit more warmth, I might put this back in. Something I think I'll try, see how that works. So second kind of concern is the lack of room to put a big waterer and uh, food receptacle in here. So I'm used to using a great big five gallon waterer. That way I don't have to fill it up every single day. Of course, we have eight chickens in the other coop. I'm probably only gonna put two to three in here. So I don't necessarily have to have a five gallon one, but not a ton of ground space in here for putting a huge waterer. I think it'd be neat if I could find some sort of way to mount a water and food receptacle here to the outside. Something that's just gravity fed where I can fill it up on the outside, let it flow down and maybe cut a hole in this wire to let the food and water come through here. That way we'd kind of save on some space for them to actually have uh, open in their run area. So I'm, I might experiment with that and see what I can find out. My last concern would be moving this around. The unit itself is not very heavy. Uh, it probably doesn't really even need wheels at all to be able to drag this across your yard if you're really pulling on it. Uh, you know, if you don't want to exert yourself, you could probably, it's got a nice little handle right here. You could probably attach this right to like a lawnmower or the little UTV or whatever and drag it around when you need it. But it is meant to be lifted up onto those wheels and then moved. Uh, the problem is, is you got to get it fairly high for those wheels to actually engage the ground. And like Lucy, you know, my eight year old, she can't really drag it around through the grass. So not the easiest thing to move it around, especially if you're going to use it in an area that is uneven or has some tall grass. But like I said, it's not super heavy. It's not like it's impossible. Just I'd kind of hoped it would be a little bit easier to move around. Overall, I'm excited to have this coop. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty neat to have here in the yard with just a few chickens so we can grab a few eggs. Uh, there is a link to this particular product down in the description box below. If you wanna get one of these, uh, you can use that link and it will help out support our farm as an affiliate link. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram by searching 100 Acrewood Highlands. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.